Hey guys and welcome to this video. So in this video we're going to be looking at the Endgame directors. They're open to direct a Batman movie in James Gunn's DC Universe. This is quite exciting. Obviously Endgame was an amazing movie. Um, so if they jumped over to the DCU ship it'd be cool to see what they could come up with. So let's jump into this article and see what they have to say. Avengers Endgame directors are open to helm the new Batman movie that is set up as part of James Gunn and Peter Safran's upcoming DC Universe. Following Avengers Endgame, the Russo brothers are game to direct Batman The Brave and the Bold. That's the title of the Batman movie that's coming out in the first phase of the DCU uh, for James Gunn's new DC Universe. While Matt Reeves' The Batman Universe is still moving forward, The Dark Knight is getting a reboot, a reboot for the DC Universe. After the Flash movie transitions, the DCEU into the DC Universe. So that's from that's from the old DC, um, like the Snyderverse is being transferred into a DC universe by James Gunn. So it's a brand new start. Um, it's a reboot for the uh, for the franchise. Um, it will end Ben Affleck's time as the Cape Crusader and open the door for a new iteration titled Batman, the Brave and the Bold. It will explore Bruce Wayne as a father after discovering the exist existence of his son, Damian Wayne. So Damian Wayne is one of the many Robins in the comics. Um, obviously, it's uh, Bruce Wayne's son who becomes Robin. While no filmmakers are attached yet, the Avengers Endgame duo is ready to take on the challenge for DC Studios. In an interview with Comic Book, Anthony and Joe Russo spoke to the potential of joining the DC Universe. If there were a character they wanted to tackle, it would be Batman. The Russo brothers also expressed their excitement for Gunn to be leading the charge for DC Studios, stating the following. Anthony Russo goes on to say, we don't get asked a lot about DC characters. And then Joe Russo says, obviously, James over there running it. It would be a no-brainer. We love him to death. We love the direction he's going to take that world in. You know he's going to be inventive with it. And favourite DC characters, I mean man, there are so many good ones. I've always answered based on the comics I collected as a kid. And the two comics I collected most were Spider-Man, actually the three. There were Spider-Man, X-Men and Batman. But there have been a lot of iterations of Batman, so I feel like that's an obvious answer. Yeah, that's the thing, isn't it? As the more and more, the more and more different iterations of Batman we see, um, the more creative they have to get with it, the more differences... I mean, you can take Batman in a different direction, but you have to keep the core elements. So trying to come up with unique designs and uh, unique stories and, uh, you know, having a fresh take on it. It's got to be a difficult um, a difficult thing to do with Batman, but he's such a popular character. So I understand why they keep making new Batman movies. So Anthony e. Russo goes on to say, but, you know, it's hard not to answer that. Here's how you know we haven't actually gotten literal about it and specific about it. Because, yeah, Batman will be my favorite character. For my entire childhood but obviously it's been well explored yeah like i was just saying guys there's been so many iterations of it i mean how do you top what's already been done uh will the russo brothers uh will the russo brothers direct batman the brave and the bold since it's unclear when batman the brave and the bold will be released it's hard to know where dc studios at finding the creative team while many filmmakers have tackled batman on the on the big screen there hasn't been a movie centered on the dark knight where two directors have worked on it that is why batman the brave and the bold could be used to shake things up. With this being the latest Batman reboot, DC Studios would be wise to look at the Russo brothers. After being responsible for some of Marvel Studios' most prof profitable films of all time, the Russo brothers could perhaps bring something new to Batman Brave and the Bold. But whether or not they will actually be hired is up to DC Studios at the end of the day. So yeah, like, the Russo brothers have got a really good um, relationship with James Gunn. Um, and it would be a really good fit for them to come over to DC and uh, kind of bring their talents over and maybe work on a Batman film. Uh, that would be quite that'd be quite interesting. And obviously, um, it's going to have a Robin in this film. So that's going to be the fresh take on this Batman property that we haven't seen for a long time, having Robin inserted into a Batman film. That dynamic between, especially when it's his son as well, it's, um, Damian Wayne is going to be playing the Robin in this film. So having a son for Bruce Wayne is something different that we... You know we haven't explored yet so that's going to be a fresh take that we're really it's going to be really interesting to see how that works out with the russo brothers tremendous track record dc studios would be lucky to land them for batman brave and the bold or any dc movie for that matter perhaps if gunn hears about their interest he will reach out for at least a meeting with some degree hopefully whether it's batman brave and the bold or a different dc studio film the Russo brothers will get a chance to take part in the new D DC universe. Yeah, I would definitely like. I'd be really happy if if they came out tomorrow and announced that the Russo brothers were working on a DC film. I think that would be absolutely fantastic. I mean, they did a great job with the Avenger movies, and um, but then again, sometimes it doesn't always translate well. I mean, 
you never know if they're going to come over and fit in properly but that's that's kind of being a negative side i don't really want to be negative about it let's just say if they came over they could bring their creative talents that they used on the avengers and kind of implement some of that creative talent into dc which is good i mean there's nothing wrong with hiring great talent and the russo brothers are obviously very great talent so it'd be good to have them on board with dcu i'm really looking forward to the reboot we've got um superman legacy coming out in 2025 that's the first movie out the gate. They obviously have to nail it because that's going to set the tone for the whole franchise going forward. Anyway, guys, you hear this news about the Russo brothers potentially liking the idea of directing Batman Brave and the Bold. What do you think about it? Are you excited for the new DCU reboot? And um, what do you think about this news about them potentially directing Batman Brave and the Bold? Jump into the comment section. I'd love to hear what you think. Thank you.